Howdy all, this is Rick. <laughs> Ciao all, this is Millie. And you've stumbled onto episode 46. What aren't I say? Of season two. Do it. Of Yonks Ago. This is Yonks Ago, coming into your ears. Now what are Yonks? They're kind of like years. Just a father and a daughter who want to know all about some people from Yonks Ago. Interesting people who did interesting stuff, but about whom we don't know enough. So we're going to dig deep and find it all out. Yonky doodlers know what we're all about. Yonks Ago. Hey, ho. Episode 46 is upon us. We are currently in episode 46. That is correct. We're in 46. We're in the kitchen. Yeah. We're in a Tuesday. We're in Tuesday. Are we in the right frame of mind? I reckon. How about you? Uh, Well, it remains to be seen. (laughs) I always start off very optimistic, very hopeful. (laughs) As you should. But I often fall apart real quick. Yeah. Um, There's not much holding me together these days. I don't notice, so that's good. That's what I do. I keep it all hidden behind the mask. (laughs) That's my training. Yeah. Um, that's the only skill that life has ingrained in me. The that's ability, not bad. The ability to keep bad skill. all of my true feelings hidden <laughs> behind a mask. A skill is a of, skill. Of ambivalence. Go on. Australia's got talent, Dad. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell this, but I'm, I'm quite chuffed that you think that. But you can't <laughs> tell because I'm keeping it all behind the mask. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. I can't tell. Um, it's a skill. So let's see how we go. Episode yeah. 46, come at us. Yeah, we, we don't care. Uh, I did hear from my mum yeah. um, as uh, about last episode. She got quite a mention. Uh, yeah. She did drive the, um, <laughs> the intensity of last episode. She was pretty chuffed. Okay, good. She was uh, – I've been chuffed. She's chuffed. There's a real, <laughs> there's a real chuffness running through the family you, at the are moment. You, are you chuffed? Uh, well, who could tell? <laughs> who can bloody tell, Millie? Um, so, again, look, another shout-out to my mum. Yeah. Um, I have to mention you uh, because I mentioned you. This is going to be an endless cycle yeah. where every episode I'm going to have to give a mum update. <laughs> uh, will it sorry, ever end? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so tune in. That could be maybe next season will just be yeah. my mum. Here's my mum update. Um, my mum's pretty good. <laughs> she put she put the kettle on for me last night. I didn't even have to press the button. Well, these are little small victories yeah. in life. Um, and someone else has been having small victories. Nancy, Nancy Bloody Wake. Wake. Oh, oh it's close. <laughs> Though I, I think we have agreed in the past that we can't really do a jinx jinx again on the name yeah. Nancy Wake. We couldn't yeah. really do it with Ned Kelly because we know we we're know pretty, we're going to say it. We're pretty sure we're going to yeah. say it. Oh, there was a chance we said like the exact same thing off the podcast and he d- he just stared at me while I said it. I was like, come on, Matt, you mate. Don't, you don't think I'm going to waste a jinx jinx again when – Practice. That's practice not how, makes perfect. That's, yes, it does. You need to practice it. And then like every – you'll be like, bam, bam, bam. With uh, the jinx jinx again, otherwise you just forget about it. Well, you see it as practice, but these old cynical um, eyes no. of mine, they see it as this is not wasted just a po- opportunity. This is not just a podcast thing. This is an everyday life thing. I think I've got if you If you say something mm. at the same time as someone else, yeah. you must sing the line from Frozen. I understand it's what you're saying. It's a universal thing. I'm 100% behind you. All I'm saying is I know myself pretty well. Uh, and I think... There's a very real possibility that I've only got one one successful jinx jinx again in me I don't for my reckon, whole, for the whole rest of my life. I reckon you've got one in you on this podcast, but you've got endless uh, uh, endless amounts off the podcast because you know why? Why we spend more time off the podcast than on the podcast, therefore more time talking, therefore more time more time there is for us to say the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying, yeah. and um, I'll I'll keep it in mind. But oh, I really feel like I need to get one away on the podcast before I even okay. dabble off pod. Yeah, but oh, all right. We'll see how we go. <laughs> but look, um, I'll You're try- skipping rehearsals, mate. Mate, <laughs> never skip rehearsals. <laughs> All right. I'll try to um, I'll try to meet you halfway. I'll I'll, I'll do my best to compromise my my yeah. core values for you. Better, hey, yeah. So don't say I never uh, I never bend like a reed well, in the I wind. Well, I can't tell. I can't tell. No, it's all hidden yeah. behind the mask. <laughs> Stupid training. <laughs> it's made me unreadable. Uh, Nancy Wake, quick yeah. recap. Uh, she has joined up. She joined up with Henri the, the first, second, second. Or the first. And Henri the first, please. <laughs> if only oh, that would be that would be huge news. Can, is it? Can there be a first, or are you just like 
someone full stop. Well, I think before there's uh, before there's subsequent. Um, so with Henri as an example, yeah, when he was just the only Henri, he's, Henri. he's just Henri. We'd never call him Henri the first. But, though, as, hey. but as soon as we start throwing in extra Henri's, as soon as they start appearing yeah, on the scene, but I mean, like in real life, like is the first a thing? Um, I feel like it. Is there? Lock okay. it in. <laughs> Lock it in. Uh, I haven't looked too hard in my history, but yep, it's a thing. Cool. And Nancy Wake, she joined up with Henri the yep. Second. Um, they'd done all their uh, ambushing. Is they Henri were- the Third? What? What? He's just another dude, right? Yeah, he was another Kelly Gang leader. Yeah, head of. But you think maybe he did he get you? Did he join up with Gaston? Yeah, he joined up with Gaston, and <sighs> then and then. She like left Gaston because he wouldn't leave. Remember, yep. so she like left down the valley, like you know. Yep. And then she, yeah, and then she's joined up with, and now, yeah, I don't know if, what happened to if, him. And that's because Henri's rise to leadership positions. That's what yeah. happens. Yeah. Uh, and so she's ambushing with Henri, and then she's like, you know what? It's time that I got a good bed. Yeah. They stole. Oh yeah, bus. bus. Uh, they fitted Loud it out. Bubbles. Uh, and so she's riding in comfort. They've yep. got their escape vehicle. As she should. Yeah, the bouncing bus. <laughs> yeah, true. And, uh, but then they got into a scrap. The Germans oh, attacked. They, true, p- true. they picked up two new uh, American bazooka boys. Yeah. Um, I forget their names. Schley. Schley. Captain yeah. Schley. And Johnny Allsop. Allsop. <laughs> like all stop, but not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they got well drunk, as you do when yeah. you first meet up with. Um, yeah, as they should. With Nancy Wake. Yeah, she likes to dominate you <laughs> in the drinking stakes, just like Legolas. And then uh, the Germans attacked. Yeah, uh, it got As hectic. They do. Some of the newbies lost their life. Well, don't be a newbie then, because they did not know. Be, s- be smart. Stick to the bushes. They were like, "That's I'm allergic to I'm allergic to twigs." <laughs> uh, but they had bazookas, y'all. Yeah, the bazooka boys came pack and heat. Me- Make the sound. Whoomp. There you go. Whoomp. <laughs> and uh, they drove those Germans and uh, just kept them guessing. And the crawler dude. They sent a, They sent yeah. the crab yep. to crawl sideways. Crabinator. To tell Henri the, the second, second to come help. Yeah. And Henri the As second. he did. Sure did. Rode, rode in yeah. on his white horse. Metaphorically, there wasn't actually like, a white horse. Like Gandalf. Yeah, he Gandalf the crap out of it. <laughs> and um, they smoked some cigars while they were yeah. waiting. Oh, yeah. And the Germans were repelled mm-hmm. uh, long enough for everyone to escape yep. and reconvene at a safe distance away from German interference. And that's yeah. where we ended. We uh, did. After the big bazooka battle. Yeah. With the bazooka boys. Yeah. Right near the, b- the bouncing bus. Yeah. Alliteration. Um, yeah. And so what remained to do after this battle was what always remained after such a battle. Cleaning up, mm-hmm. burying their dead. Yeah. Uh, the wounded had already been ferried to a quiet religious hospital nearby. Bless. Yeah, they just well, they were all gathered on the track where they'd foolishly <laughs> where they'd foolishly huddled to yeah. be gunned down. So they just scooped them up, yeah. put them in the barrows, and took them to the church. Uh, laid them out. Yeah. Now, our Nancy is a nurse. That she was, and she felt responsible. Yeah, for their death. She pa- is the leader. Yeah, of the pack. Yeah, I mean she she doesn't blame herself entirely. She was like, no, I mean, I, I mean, that's a bit stupid. Yeah, like come on, I mean, don't walk down the track when you're getting shot at. Yeah, but you're right. She was the head of the group. Yeah, and the buck stops with her. Mm-hmm. And so she feels partly responsible. Yeah. And so she's decided she needs to utilize her nursing skills. She insisted yep. on bathing and dressing the corpses Aww. of her fallen comrades herself, trying to return to form the bodies and faces that had, in some cases, been very severely uh, injured. Yeah. Kablooied. <laughs> um, there was a lot of stitching that had to go on. Yeah. A lot of a lot of stuffing. Yeah. Had to be reinserted. It was a messy business. It's okay. She's got it in her. She's got them nursing skills, though. <laughs> um, they're lucky that she didn't just put them on a trolley and <laughs> drop them in the mud like she did back home. <laughs> she might have thought that's what you did with dead bodies. Oh, that's funny. Um, but so, so she took the time. Yeah. She got them looking as best as she could, considering. Yeah. Um, the Germans had come along shortly after their ambush. And oh, so this is why they were slightly more harder to put together. Okay. Just for some context, the oh. Germans had come along after the ambush Uh-oh. and had shot bullets at point blank range into the foreheads of, oh. of those who were possibly just initially wounded. Oh. 
Uh, so that did not so. make Nancy's job very easy at no. all. A lot of forehead work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not her speciality. No. Mm. Well, I guess it probably became her speciality after yeah. this. She was just going forehead after forehead. I am a forehead nurse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you need forehead reconstruction. Come to me. Come to the bouncing bus. <laughs> Nancy Wake will reconstruct That's your forehead. Smart. Yeah. Remember As- her Remember her, um, her truck that Henri got her? Yeah, Remember she used that? an ambulance. She's like, where's my truck, mate? And she stacked it many, many times. Yeah. Uh, because she g- Give me deja vu. She did I, not, I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, it, it lasted as long as it could. Yeah. It did a lot of work. It did. That makeshift yeah. ambulance. She helped a lot of people, for sure. Yeah, she's a good egg. Oh, yeah. Uh, v- Virgos be Virgos, man. <laughs> uh, and... I will bet you that Trev is a Pisces. Do you know why? Because Pisces and Virgos are sister signs. <laughs> there you go. It all yeah. makes sense. Do you know why? Because my sister is a Pisces but and I'm a Virgo and that, you know, we're just like, you know, really close. Fun fact. It's not just sister signs because we're sisters. Mm-hmm. They're actually sister signs. Oh, just, thank you for they, clarifying. They go hand in hand. I'm, like compatibility off the charts. I was confused. That's why Trevor and Nancy are such good friends. Ah, it all makes sense. Because this is a science. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lock it in. Yeah. Uh, so if any of the Yonky Doodles out there were, were compiling yeah. horoscope charts for all the main characters yeah. in the Nancy Which Wake story. Which you were. I mean, uh, come on. <laughs> please lock those two in. We've got Nancy yeah. Wake, who is a? Virgo. Virgo. Obvs. I mean, <laughs> And now we're uh, 95% sure, yeah. shall we say. 95 to 99% sure that Trev yep. is I reckon Pisces. his birthday is, you know, the, um, you know, his birthday is the, I'm getting vibes of the 14th of March oh. for him. All right. Well, well there's is, absolutely no is, way. That is in the Pisces range, I think. There's absolutely no way to fact check it. No. Because as Yonky Doodlers will know, we've completely made up the character of yep, Trev. But- <laughs> so anything we say is canon. So we're not just guessing. We technically we didn't make him up. We made up his name. His name wasn't Trev. I don't think. No, I definitely made that name. I remember making that name up. Yes, uh, a yeah. lot of a lot of aspects of Trev have been yeah. fabricated from just the energy that is created in the kitchen. Yeah, uh, yeah. mid podcast. This is this is what you get. Yeah, and don't so, be mad. Don't so be mad. look, I'm going to push us from 95 to 99 percent sure to absolutely 100 percent sure <laughs> yeah. that Trev was born on the 14th of uh-huh. March and is a Pisces. Yeah, because if we say it, it is correct. So mm. yeah, uh, let's get back to Nancy, who's who's putting broken bodies back together. I mean, classic. She says, "I know it might sound absurd, but it f- I felt in a way that I was caring uh, for their broken bodies on yeah. behalf of their mothers Aww. who weren't there, yeah. but would have wanted them." Looked after well, Nancy, a little bit. Does Na- will Nancy Wake have any kids? Do you I mean, I don't know. I don't, a little bit I don't of sizzle. Know. I don't of sizzle, know. A bit of sizzle. Maybe. Let's find out. Who knows what's going to happen well, post-war? Is she ever going to um, meet Henri again? I feel like I feel like it would cramp Nancy's style. I feel like it would too. Like a dog's enough, you yeah, know? Yeah. But, but that's, like, yeah, that's settled. That being said, she might want to be a better mum than her mum. Yeah, there. there she, is. Just, to, just to get back at her. 100%. Yeah. There's a lot of narratives that could play out. Yeah. And there's been a lot of very um, sort of self-focused party people mm. like Nancy has been yeah. uh, throughout her time who have then uh, just changed gears. But also she could just have a kid like Micheline, like start her out early. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I don't think she did that. She didn't have a kid when she was Michelin's age. No, I mean, like, Michelin was an alcoholic from a young age. Oh, I'm with you now. Like, she can st- still be a party girl. She can still be a party girl. And have a Michelin, that's what I'm oh, saying. I'm with you now, it all makes <laughs> sense. I thought you were talking timelines. No. But you were talking alcohol preferences yeah. and the ability to party with your offspring. Yeah. Nancy Wake would 100%. Yeah. First of all, she'd get the kid started off as a cocktail maker. Oh, yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. Don't you drink any. No. But, you know, would turn a blind eye yeah. with a sip here and there. Yeah. And then by about the age of 10. Oh, nine. Nine, <laughs> nine, nine or ten. <laughs> definitely like make one for me and make one for you. Yeah. Um, and on re. And on, and on But re. he's doing business, so he, don't disturb yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Leave it outside the business door. Yeah. And he'll get to it when he's got time, <laughs> whenever that may be. Yeah. Nancy then insisted that um, they were going to bury their dead uh, properly, not in some nameless yep. man in the forest or, um, you know, in a ditch somewhere. Mm. Uh, instead, she declared they would go in full force to the local cemetery with their colours flying yep. and they would bury them with as much honour as could be bestowed upon them. 
And when after the war was over, a tombstone would be erected above them with names uh, written in a, with a simple acclamation: "Mort pour la France." What does that mean? Died for France. Ah, uh, yep. I Did, thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent died for yep. all Francais. Francais. Uh, so she's got big plans. Yeah, she's not mucking around. Well, I mean, she she always shoots for the stars, doesn't yeah. she? And she did so much good work on the forehead yeah. reconstruction. Exactly. She's like, we can't waste all this yeah. work. <laughs> Never seen such magnificent foreheads. Um, and so, because so many times in the past, they just had to bury their fallen where they lay. Yeah. Um, if they'd even had time to recover and bury the bodies at all. Yeah. Um, but but this time it was going to be different because this time they had some spare time. Yeah. You know they were feeling pretty comfortable with where they were in yeah. the context. I mean, of the Trev war. didn't have any time. He's just. Cooking them crepes. He was making crepes. Fu- funeral crepes. Yeah, man. Special funeral crepes. <laughs> Got to the- line the mood a little bit. Yeah, mate. Yeah, they serve <laughs> a dual purpose. They line the stomach with that sense of well-being. Yeah, yeah. Um, they perk you up a little bit. Yeah. But they also, I mean, he makes a very good um, crepe of mourning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it just, it does instill that sense of sincerity and loss. Definitely. That you need at a funeral. So his, his funeral crepes yeah. were very necessary Top for not- the process. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so with all the bodies ready to go, Nancy and her Kelly gang, with the two Americans in tow, mm-hmm. said, Blake, they've had, a, they've had an exciting time since they got there, <laughs> Schley and, and Johnny also. They're like, is this how it is all the time? <laughs> it's not stop, go, go, go. <laughs> They're also like, uh, Nancy, if, if I get shot in the head, could you, you redo my head for me? It looks amazing. <laughs> I ain't never seen no forehead work like that. That's second to none. <laughs> You're an artiste. <laughs> I'm looking to shoot myself in the head just so you'll fix it for me. But I ain't gonna. Yeah. Because the only gun I got's a bazooka. And you can't fix that. A bazooka in the head. Or can you? Let's give it a go. <laughs> Nancy could, I reckon. Yeah. YOLO. Uh, so they've signed up to Nancy's forehead services <laughs> if needed. Yeah. Uh, Always have a plan. Always have a plan. Yeah, always, always plan what you're going to do should your forehead need yeah. reconstruction. Yeah. Uh, you don't want some like newbie. <laughs> Are you serious? Right. She's a certified forehead doctor. That will give you a nurse. that will give you a three head at best, <laughs> at best, <laughs> possibly a two point five. Yeah, only, if you're lucky. Yeah, only someone with Nancy skills is going to give you that full forehead. Yeah. Um. So they're all ready to go. Uh, they head down. Get the head, local head down. Sorry. They, yeah, they forehead down <laughs> into the local village. They placed some armed guards on the gate and conducted a funeral and burial Aww. service with all the trappings, including the local priest who had been rounded up for the occasion. Yeah, mate, this town has not seen a proper <laughs> funeral like this since they got taken over. Yeah. I reckon Nancy would. Nancy would. French flag flying. Mm-hmm. Crepe station churning out funeral Bro. crepes. Everyone. Mm. Had turned up to that funeral. It's an event. They were like, whoo, crepes uh, are coming in. But the Germans weren't invited. They didn't get the invite. As if, as if. They missed it. Yeah. <laughs> they were off no crepes to... for you? <laughs> no. Um, now, here's a, uh, sorry, where was I up to? I missed my spot, but I'm back to it. Nice. Nancy says it was right. It was what their mothers would have wanted. She was yeah. doing it for all the mothers out yeah. there. Yeah. She spent too long compromising her own. Comfort and values That's true. for this damn war. Um, so she's like, all the mothers out there, imagine how much they've been compromising. Yeah, fair, fair for point. Them, for themselves yeah. and their children. Yeah. This one's for you, mums. Jinx. Jinx. Oh, oh, I was too slow. Re- <laughs> that was a legitimate jinx. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I was too startled by it. I tell you. Needed that rehearsal. Mate. Man. It- I've never felt more like a boomer than when the <laughs> opportunity to jinx jinx again comes along and I absolutely stuff it up every time. Get your act together. Come on. <sighs> um, all right. It's, but here's a side note. Yes. All through these events, Nancy's relationship with Trev yeah. remained quite awkward. <gasps> what? No. Because he was clearly quietly growing in his admiration for her. No, I think she's misunderstood that. I don't that know. It's because they're sister signs. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, they're getting along. Like, they're, they're, uh, they've been BFFs. No, nah, Trev always wants a cuss. Like, no matter <laughs> if he likes you or not, man. Yeah, but I think it's getting more for Trev. Oh. I think Trev, that whole sister sign thing has merged into... Nah. 
And his feelings. I refuse to believe. They're coming complicated. No, Trevin. What's his name? Den Den. Mm, well, that's who knows? the real. That's the real ship. Um, shortly after the war in uh, uh, shortly after the war in France was over, Trev was quoted in the London Daily Telegraph newspaper. He s- was quoted as saying, "She was magnificent <laughs> and incredibly popular with the Kelly gang. The the gangs, many of them were pretty pretty tough boys too. <laughs> they worshipped her and were all a little bit scared of her. As you should." They could never really get used to calling a spade a spade. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> it's <some> Trev slang. <laughs> <laughs> and then he uh, he goes on to to talk about the last uh, a battle in the paper. He said, after one night in August, she became almost a legend in the Kelly Gang country. <laughs> the Germans found our camp and attacked. There was only eighty of us. Nancy, armed with a small Colt automatic which she always carried, and a bazooka. Led by a section of ten men against the German machine gun post, knocked it out and led the section safely back. Nice, that's awesome. Uh, I don't think he likes her though. Yeah, no. So it's not enough in there to say no. that he's secretly. In love oh my with god, Nancy he is in love with her. I no, mean, can you read between the lines? No, that is just a, like a loving friendship. Oh no, <laughs> a loving friendship between Nancy Wake and Trev. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Okay, I'm not convinced that there's any Stop. more to it. Just because they're opposite sexes. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say sure. the media is taking this lo- out of context. He, he loves her. Mm. But, you know. Yeah. I just don't think <laughs> at the time people understood yeah, that's that fair. such a strong that's bond fair. could be platonic. They didn't, oh, they didn't understand sister science yet. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a misunderstanding yeah, about yeah, yeah. what we, admiration. We understand the truth. All right. We understand the truth. I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have wanted any more awkwardness to continue. <laughs> um, so after the tragic episode with the new recruits, it yeah. was, um, you know, given its proper rites of passage, yeah. Nancy and her troop made their next move. They moved deep into the nearby forest of Tronce, Ooh. where it was judged that the Germans would have an even harder time finding nice. them, let alone attacking them. Nice. Where'd we go? Where'd we go? Oh, <laughs> you can't see us. Man, we're, we're going deep bush. <laughs> we're in the forest, y'all. We're like, we're like ghosts in the breeze. Yeah. Uh, so they are hiding in deep forest. Yeah. Not mucking about. No. How'd they get the bus in there though? How would they get the bus in the deep forest? I don't like, know. She just knocking down trees as she goes. <laughs> that, would, that would clear a path for the Germans yeah, to follow. Facts, facts. Unless they had to rebuild the forest behind the bus. That's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't reckon. Do you reckon not, do you, she dropped the bus? Did she have to ditch the bouncing bus? I don't it, know. Like, Maybe not she ditch parked it. it. Yeah. Parked it. Like... Oh, that would leave a clue though. Yeah. Nah. Oh, they park it and then cover it in like like oh, twigs yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so it yeah, looks, yeah, yeah. You painted it camouflage mm-hmm. so you couldn't you even like, no, see it. How, how would they even – they'd be like, whoa. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so – but then they wouldn't be able to find it afterwards. Yeah. But like we left the bus oh, yeah. somewhere. No, but they put a mark on the ground. Oh. They're in like code. Oh, yeah. Better yeah. than code. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, look, I'm going to have to imagine that Nancy's back to sleeping on twigs. Yeah. After, well, after living that uh, bouncing bus life. I know. Oh, that can't be I guess easy. She's she's a bit traumatised for the newbies, like the dead newbies though. She doesn't want that to happen again. So no. she's got to do this. Give and, up. And it was on. about this time. After they were in the forest, it was about this time that she, was to- she found out she was not the only woman living among the 7,000 Kelly Gang Ooh. members in the area. Well, you'd hope not. She was told that a nearby band of Kelly Gangs with whom she ha- had had very little contact to that point yeah. had captured <gasps> three women oh, no. who they said were spies and they were using them inappropriately. Yes, we, we knew that was coming, didn't we? Inappropriate treatment. Nancy no. got word of it. Nancy's going to destroy them. And she She's would She's going to save the chicks. She'd be damned if such a thing was going to happen on yeah. her watch. Mm. So the following day around breakfast time, three bedraggled women in rags were ushered into her presence in the camp. Uh, right. Sh- uh, d- does it name them or can we name them? By the campfire. Hang on. By the campfire. Before the bus. They did oh, they get, get the bus. How did they get the- Someone has got some slick driving skills. Are I you think, serious? I think they had to rebuild the forest behind the bus. I think the or bus did they or did they deconstruct the bus and then 
take it in and then reconstruct it around the campfire. That would be the less effort, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like you pull the bus apart into yeah. easily carryable bits. Yeah. Or like in that Doctor Who episode where the bus like teleports. Oh. They just put up a teleport thing, put it on the, and just drove it. They... Obviously. A silly, silly, <laughs> silly. <laughs> teleport. Yeah. The bus could teleport. I mean... Nancy has had brief contact with Holes in the Space Time Continuum. Yeah, I mean, she saw Joe, Joe Byrne, Byrne literally came. come. Yeah, come through. So she's not. <laughs> and she's, leave. she's not freaked out by Holes no. in the Space Time Continuum. No, that's the only possible way they got the bus deep forest. Yeah, is another hole in the space time continuum. Yeah, I think Joe Byrne appeared on the edge of Was the that, forest. Come, come this way. Opened up a hole. Yeah. Said, "Drive it through here. Yeah. You find yourself deep forest." Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Like, Thanks, uh, Joe. Yeah, thank you, Joe Byrne. <laughs> and everyone's like, "Who's Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Mama?" Hey. <laughs> uh, so the three bedraggled women have arrived, uh, though all had clearly once been attractive. Uh, they looked like nothing so much as this at this minute as haunted, hollow-eyed, and horrified. That is some sick alliteration, right there. <laughs> Whoever wrote this, uh, the claim of the Kelly Gang. That was in the centre of the controversy. Yeah. Oh, they just came. It wasn't. We didn't. Ta- we didn't take him. Yeah. They claimed <laughs> that they were all working for the Germans, and uh. that one of them actually was a German. So Nancy decided yeah. she needed to interview them one by one to nice. see if she could determine for herself. In the bus. In the bus. Step onto the bus. Yeah. Step into my office. Step into the bouncing bus of truth. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So she's gonna. Check them out one by one. So the young French girl, perhaps 17 years old, was first. Uh, and it all came pouring out. Her name is Alicia. Alicia. Yep. Uh, young <laughs> French Alicia hopped onto the bouncing bus of truth first. And uh, Nancy spent some time and it became very clear straight away she was certainly not a spy. <laughs> she were no spy. <laughs> Um, and would never do such a thing. Yeah. She would never do anything to hurt France. Yeah. As far as Nancy could tell, the one reason this girl had been captured by this reprehensible Kelly gang was because uh, she was uh, very attractive. Yeah. <laughs> so they had created this whole story about her being a yeah. spy because they just wanted to capture her. Classic. Um, for their own malicious... Yep. <laughs> not, uh, Nancy is... <laughs> Fuming She's right now. Fuming. Uh, so this was confirmed with subsequent inco- inquiries, and the girl was not only instantly set free, but extreme yeah. disciplinary action was soon to be taken against those Kelly gang members. She's gonna smash him. Who had abused this poor innocent? Yeah, Alicia. Alicia, seventeen-year-old um, French girl. Seventeen-year-old French girl, Alicia. Yeah. Uh, How so dare you? So there's one. Okay. Nancy has One out of three. Yeah. And so uh, the next oldest one was a 30-year-old French woman. Yeah. Uh, The reason for her capture, what's her name? Uh, Tammy. Tammy. (laughs) (laughs) Tammy. (laughs) Tammy, uh, the reason for her capture was a little more complex. She had simply fallen in love with a man she shouldn't Uh, have. Oh, no. Romeo and Julia. Oh, very much so. Tell as old as time. Uh, She had fallen in love with like... One of the French, like, brute guys who'd yeah. become, like, the police for the German. Yeah. Uh, so, like, a, uh, yeah, yeah. seen as a betrayer of, yeah, of the yeah, French yeah. people. Um, she'd fallen in love with one of them. I mean, she, she just fell in love with a French man. Little did she know that this yeah. French man Facts. had turned uh, had turned Dark his allegiances to the, to the Germans. Yeah. She probably did know. But what, your heart yeah. wants what your heart yeah. wants. How, how could you blame her? <laughs> Um, and so the Kelly gang had had their revenge on her. Nevertheless, yeah. Nancy equally came to the conclusion that the woman presented no danger and assured her that her nightmare was also over. Tammy's free. Uh, and that while Nancy couldn't approve of her ever sharing her charms with, uh, <laughs> with a man who had cooperated with the Nazis, yeah. she would no longer be subjected to the hideous treatment she had uh, been and she was free to go. Yeah. Two, tick, yeah. three. She's liberating. <laughs> She's the liberator. <laughs> Next uh, on the bus, who is it? Uh, the third woman. Yeah. Uh, however, was an entirely different story. She proudly supported the Nazis. Oh, no. And was open about the fact that she saw it as her duty to do everything she could to advance their cause. She's the reverse Nancy. Yeah. 
That's not good. She saw the Nazis in action. She, her she name said, is. I'm going to do everything I can to help. What's Nancy backwards? Um, y- 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 Iknan. Iknan. This is Iknan. Iknan. Yep. The reverse Nancy. Iknan. Yep. Um, she, yeah, because when Nancy saw the Nazis, she she vowed to, to cause as much trouble yeah. as she could. Yeah. When Iknan saw the Nazis, she's like, going to help. Yeah. Sign me up. Iknan to the rescue. Yeah. Can and will assist where possible. Um, and she's not she's not even pretending. No. She's like, that's who I am. It's what yeah. I do. Uh, I hate all of you here. Um, <laughs> if I get a chance, I'll shoot you. Yeah. Uh, I'll shoot you so bad. No one could reconstruct your forehead. No. I'm bloody Iknan. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me. Come I'm, at me, I dare you. I'm Iknan bloody Ekor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so at the end of this, um, that left only one option. And as Nancy looked at the thin woman with the straggly blonde hair, but piercing blue eyes oh. glaring straight back at her, <laughs> she had no hesitation what to do. She said, I'm sorry, but we can't release you. Oh. But we also don't have the facilities to keep you. Yeah. This is a war. You know that? Yeah. That's not news to She's you. She's going to like drop her off. <laughs> and you must have known the penalties for spying on the Cali gang and reporting their movements to the Germans before you began to do it. Yeah. You'll have to be shot immediately. Whoa. And I would like you to prepare for that. <laughs> Giving her a moment. Jesus Christ. She's like, Nick Nan, get yeah. your head around it. Yeah. Because you're about to be shot. Yeah. I'm not mucking about. This is the bouncing bus of truth. Yeah. So you've got to believe me. Yeah. It's bullet time. Who, who, who do you think is going to shoot her though? Just some random? <sighs> like it, they like um, pick names out of a hat? Um, not Trev though. He's I'm not making. sure. Look, but this is – so Nancy, Nancy she got a remote to repair. It. She even got a dress for her because she was okay. in her filthy rags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nancy's like, you're about to be shot, but you can die with a little bit yeah. of dignity to you even though yeah. I, I don't like what you stand for. <laughs> no. You deserve at least yeah. a new frock. Yeah. Not one of her dresses though. It, it It's – a dress that she found on the ground. Yeah. Trust oh. me on this one. Yeah. Nancy's not going to lose no. it. No. <laughs> Actually, she might put a good dress on her but insist that she gets shot in the head. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. there's no holes in the dress. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If anyone puts a hole in this dress, you answer to Nancy. <laughs> um, so she got the dress for her and she was because uh, she was practically naked, dressed yeah. in rags. So then they, uh, they organized the firing squad uh, and Nancy sat herself down under a nearby tree Eating some crepes because mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, she just wanted to act like, this, yeah, you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is all part of war. Exactly. Um, and what yeah. was her name? I can't remember. Oh, Iknan. Oh, Iknan, of course. <laughs> Iknan was lined up against the wall and she looked over at Nancy and she spat in her direction. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, and then she ripped off the dress oh. and threw it at her feet. Before lifting her arm in the classic Nazi salute. Oh, so she's decided, on, hey. Iknan's gone, look, chill, I'm going to get shot. Chill out, chill out. I'm going to go out, Yeah. you know, believing what I believe. You know, I don't, okay. want, I don't want anyone to think that they got the better of me yeah. and what I was trying to do. All right. So she's going out with the Nazi salute in the air, not wearing um, the dress that was given to her by the person who's ordered her to be killed. Yeah. And then the sound of a dozen shots rang around the forest and the now shattered... And naked body of the woman was thrown back against the tree with the force, Gee. with force, and then crashed to the ground where it moved no more. Well, yeah, that's what happens. It's a pretty graphic end yeah. to this uh, episode. But I mean, like, ah, war is it war. is what it is. <laughs> so she saved two. Yes, yeah. two out of three. That's still a pass. I mean, it's a pass. <laughs> but um, you got to. Listen. I mean, yeah. it's it's hard to make jokes about. Yes, yeah. but I mean, you can't really be on anyone's side. Like, is it surely it, what we talked about, like in a war, like everyone's kind of the bad guy. Indeed. Yeah. There, there is no shining light. No. Uh, everyone gets uh, filthy in the mud of war. Yep. Uh, Nancy Wade. It is what it is. Is no different. No. Uh, and that and, is. But she's got a bus, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, you have a bus in the war? I think not. No, not many people did. No. And even those that did sometimes had them stolen by other people who wanted to make beds, exactly. beds out of them. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so if you ever find yourself in a war, get your whole, get yourself a bus. Yeah. Um, and try to stay out of Wait, the mud. Wait, I say bus or bed. 
I don't know. I don't mate. know. I think I bed. Uh, <laughs> like all right, gang, that is all the time we've got. Uh, we'll leave it on that rather yeah. graphic, sombre note uh, because, hey, war. Yeah, man. War is hell. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I keep, yeah. I, I keep trying to end the podcast and failing, but we're going to do it right but, now. But, you know, it is what it is. So yeah. come back next time. But we might have more fun, might not. You know, who are we to say? We don't know. Anyway. Um, you know, see you next time. Come back next time for another episode of Yonks Ago. I nailed that. Oh, what do you reckon? I reckon. I mean, I was never going to get there. Yeah. But you got there. Yeah, and for I that, almost. You win. Yep. Bye. <laughs>